This episode of Android Weekly is brought to you by Gamefly. Welcome back to Android Weekly. My name is Jason. This is where we cover the week's Android news. And we found out about a mystery technology that's going into what is looking to be a beast of a phone that is the OnePlus One. We also find out what the head of Samsung Mobile said about a rumored Galaxy S5 Premium Edition. Rumor or real? Yes, I'm sorry to tell you, my friends, that the head of Samsung Mobile has shattered the dream that many of us had of a premium Galaxy S5. According to the Korean media, Mr. J.K. Shin has officially denied the possibility of a premium Galaxy S5, saying that the rumors reporting its existence are completely false. Shin instead mentioned that Samsung would be releasing a new Galaxy Note model this fall. So does this officially close the door on a phone with a metal-clad chassis? Not necessarily. The Samsung mobile head did say there'd be no premium Galaxy S5, but that doesn't mean we won't see a phone with a beautiful metal clad chassis in the future. We'll just have to wait and see. Now moving on to what could be potentially a beast of a phone. The OnePlus One is designed by former Oppo VP and running the popular Cyan Engine mod ROM. This smartphone could potentially shake things up in the Android world. Last week's announcement confirmed that the phone will be running a Snapdragon 800 running at 2.3 gigahertz. The handset will feature a massive 5.5 inch display running at 1080p resolution. It will also include a 3100 milliamp hour battery that is non-removable. I know that will disappoint many of you, but you should know what the CEO Peter Lau did say about the battery. A removable battery would have meant adding a protective layer to the motherboard as well as extra circuitry, resulting in a smaller battery or a significantly thicker phone. There is also some mystery battery technology that is meant to, quote, enhance and boost the user experience. Now, we don't know exactly what this mystery technology is, but it could be something similar to the Snapdragon Glance, which monitors your app usage and then optimizes for battery life. The OnePlus One is expected to go on sale in the second quarter of this year with a retail price of no more than $400. Moving on to some important updates when it comes to the Google Play Store. This time around, the updates to the Google Play Store app include some design tweaks and the ability to batch install, which will make those of you with a new phone very happy. Now you don't have to install each individual app, you can simply batch install. But perhaps the most important feature is that they've added in-app purchases to the app permission list, allowing you to password protect those purchases. Now you're freer to have your life destroyed by your Clash of Clans addiction. But if those in-app purchases are getting you down, you may want to consider other affordable options to getting your gaming fix, like my current gaming fix, Battlefield. Yeah, they don't call me Daddy Headshot for nothing. You see, when you become a Gamefly member, you can rent this title or any of the 8,000 classic and new titles they have to choose from across all consoles and handhelds. Rent up to four games at a time and keep them as long as you like. Gamefly members can also play hundreds of PC games for free with unlimited PC play. And our own Joe Hindi challenged me, and it's clear he needs that extra PC gaming time. He needs to unlearn his bunny hopping ways. So come join me, Josh, Joe, and Kevin as we play our favorite games and see if you can beat our scores. I know most of you have quashed my Flappy Bird score already. The Android Army can get a one month free trial when they go to gamefly.com forward slash authority. Moving on to news about a rumor regarding Google's new smartwatch. Last month, we heard a rumor claiming that LG and Google were teaming up to release a smartwatch with plans to debut the device at Google I.O. this June. Now, thanks to a tweet from Evie Links, we might know a little bit more about what this smartwatch could look like. Keep in mind that Evie Links does not have a perfect rumor track record, but it gets us a little bit closer. In the tweet, we learned that the watch will have a 1.65 inch LCD with a 280 by 280 resolution. Other specs include a 512 megabytes of RAM and four gigabytes of storage. No word on the processor just yet. Thanks for watching Edward Army. My name is Jason. I'd love to connect with you here on Google Plus or Twitter or in the comments below. Tell me what you think about the OnePlus One that looks like a beast of a phone. I'm really excited about it. I told you that Chinese manufacturers would come and eat everyone's lunch if Samsung and LG weren't careful. They're doing some good things. That's what China does. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to connect with my brothers in Android, Josh, Joe, and the tech ninja Kevin. I shall talk to you next week on Android Weekly.